How to Stop a Build in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.3. Now, if I wanted to stop a build while I was in the Jenkins UI, I could go and click on a red X to stop a build. But how can I do that by using the CLI? Well, fortunately, the Jenkins CLI gives us the command to where we can do that. If you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there's a link to a video down in the description about how to use the Jenkins CLI. Let's go over into Manage Jenkins. Let's scroll down to Jenkins CLI and let's look for the command stop builds. And the description is stop all running builds for jobs. Notice the S there. So what we can do is we can say stop builds and the value. Well, what is the value? It's the name of the jobs to stop. So we can stop multiple jobs. So let's do a simple case first. I've got a few jobs that are available to go ahead and run for a bit so we can stop it. So let's go ahead and click on test job one and click on build now. So now this job has started up. We can see that it's running. And if I'm ready to stop this build, I can run the command stop builds test job one. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. We can see that it responded with build number five was stopped for job test job one. If we click into the console log for build number five, what we're going to see is that it was aborted by admin, which is who I'm logged in as, as I'm using the CLI, and the job was aborted. But what if I wanted to go ahead and stop multiple jobs at the same time? Well, let me go ahead and start up two jobs. We're going to start up test job number one, and we're going to start test job two. So if we take a look at the agent widget, what we're going to see is both test job one and test job two are running. Let's go ahead and go back over into our shell. We'll run this again, but we're going to pass in now test job two along with test job one. So when we hit enter here, we can see that build number six was stopped for test job one and build number two was stopped for test job two. We can see that the jobs are no longer listed here. If we were to click into test job one, take a look at six. We saw what we did with five where it was aborted by admin. And then also if we go ahead and go over into test job two, we take a look at number two, we can also see the exact same command aborted by admin. So by running stop builds, we could stop either a single job or multiple jobs. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.